it was kind of frustrating, you know, you go in there and lift weights, and it's like, right, Peyton, you go over in the corner in your own little, you know, go do your own little kitty weights. I'm in the weight room, and you're doing stuff that a year ago you wouldn't even thought about doing. The, the doctor said way back when, hey, time is going to be your best uh, medicine. And so due to the time uh, away from the surgery, I have been able to do more things in the weight room, which uh, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like you're getting back to your normal routine. Now you're able to actually be well, like one of the guys working out. Yeah. I mean, last year it was, it was kind of frustrating. You know, you go in there and lift weights, and it's like, all right, Peyton, you go over in the corner. You go do your own little kitty weights. the kitty table, right? Well. Exactly. So yeah, it's nice to feel like one of the guys again. How much did you have to really go to Elway to convince him to get Welker here? No, that was John's call. I mean, Wes. Uh, uh, come on, dude. Certainly. I know you. You were. Co come on. Come on, John. No, I, I tell you exactly what happened. When Wes actually reached out to me and said that, uh, hey, this thing uh, may not may not happen here in New England. It's kind of been a back and forth, and is there an opportunity there in Denver? And certainly, you know, as a quarterback, you say, hey. So I, and I called John and said, you know, said John, I think you know this guy has an interest in coming. And then John from there had to do the numbers, but it was really kind of Wes reaching out saying, uh, what do you think? And of course, we were excited to have him. I consider myself a phenomenal practical joker. If there's anybody in the league who may have me, it could be you. You know, you work when it's time to work, but you have to have some laughs and you have to have some, some levity. You know, those are some of the things I think you'll miss the most when you stop playing. I was there when you when you put Icy Hot on Jeff Saturday's deodorant. I was there for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is... This is some good one. This is some good one. Yeah. It's all kind of whatever comes Give to mind. Give me something I could do to Randy Win Moss. the opportunity. I, I wouldn't mess with Moss. <laughs> uh, it's funny, you're talking about Moss. I was thinking I hosted Randy Moss on his visit to Tennessee. Really? I took a lot of pride in my recruiting hosting ability. I had a good record. I was like five for five. I had all these players that were committing there. I couldn't close, uh, you couldn't uh, close the, Randy? Big one, the big one, which uh, he would have been a great one. I was giving him my full pitch. Hey, you know, we're going to throw the ball. You know, you're going to make it to the NFL. And I did my best shot. I couldn't I couldn't persuade him. Randy, but, what uh, are you doing, buddy? It, well, I think it worked out pretty good for him. He, okay. he only, uh, he's only headed to the Hall of Fame. One time we were out, you and me and Strahan, and you were explaining to us all your, you know, this stuff and that stuff, and you're doing all that. Out there, and you have some receiver just looks at you and goes, what? "What are you talking about?" Certainly, you can see that look from the receiver <laughs> or, or a lineman, that confused look, and that's when you just kind of whisper, "Hey, run a post route." Right, so right. This is fake. Just right. It can turn into uh, recess football real soon. So it's all about trying to get on the same page.